and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am filming for you my top packing tips slash just me packing. It's probably not going to be any tips. Just I'm packing for the Caribbean so I'm going on holiday. Um, I'm going to London tomorrow because I've got a really early flight on Friday. Um, so when you watch this I'll already be there and you can follow me on Instagram. I'll put my link here or somewhere um, and it'll be linked below. I'll put my at sign here. Um, where there'll be a million and one different pictures. I'm also going to vlog it and do a lookbook So make sure you subscribe if you aren't already if you want lots of holiday content So before I get into like picking outfits and stuff I just wanted to talk you through what I do before I do anything which is get my trusty notebook out and write down lots and lots and lots of lists So let me talk you through the list that I have so the first list that I write is electronics. As a blogger, there's so many electronics I have to take. This is actually a press trip too, so if I was going with just my boyfriend, I'd probably just take my camera and my charger and my charger for my phone. Whereas this time, I have to take my laptop, my camera, and hopefully picking up another camera on the way, not 100% sure, um, at the airport, my phone, my portable battery, my portable hard drive, um, and my dongle, my extra... Um, memory cards, I even want to try and take this tripod if I can fit it into my case because um, there will be other bloggers there but I don't want to kind of have to rely on them to take pictures for me um, and if I want to film anything because I'm also planning on hopefully picking up something at um, the, what do you call it, uh, airport so if I do then I really want to do an unboxing when I'm there so then I can like use it so if I find, if I do pick something up then that will be coming soon too I want to go to Louis Vuitton and Gucci and there's two things I don't know what to get and Probably be dictated whether um, they have it in stock. Anyway, I'm going to stop grabbing two lenses for my camera, my headphones, and I don't know what that says, so I guess I won't be taking that. Um, and then I also need an American adapter. And one thing that I will say is a tip of mine, um, or like, I don't know if it's just general knowledge, but what I always do with my electronics, if I've got so many things to charge and stuff, I will just take one plug adapter, so you don't have to buy a million, um, and then just put... Uh, extension cable with like four plugs or whatever so that I can um, just use the English plugs for all of those. So the next list I have is toiletries so obviously I have like suntan lotion, after sun, everything. Also I fake tan before I go on holiday and during holiday because I burn so easily, I rarely tan and to be honest I just I prefer it how I look when I'm tanned. Obviously as a blogger as well like pictures look a million times better when you're tanned not sunburnt and I just don't really enjoy laying out in the sun burning and sweating um, and it's not good for you so personally I just rather tan. I also have this amazing 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 tan remover which I'm going to take with me because if my tan does go dry and patchy I can just use that and then put some tan on and wake up in the morning and be golden goddess again. Um, hair oil and I've got loads of like hair care products and um, I'm actually doing a um, blog post so I'll link that below after it's gone up but it'll go up after this video so keep your eyes peeled on my blog for that and it's basically all of my essentials for when I go travelling or on a holiday but yeah hair oil because my hair dries out so much in the sun and then I have to remember to take um, tablets obviously um, I want to take Emodium because I take them anywhere I go with me I know it's gross but you just you never know like when you're going on holiday um, we'll be eating lots of seafood and stuff so just want to make sure that everything's okay we're also going on a helicopter ride which sounds amazing and a catamaran ride so I'm going to take some motion sickness tablets because even though I don't get seasick I've had like a few um, times when I've just had the most all thing. Anyway, I'm not going to go on too long because I don't want to um, bore you guys. But then the last thing that I've written is, um, so I have to remember that I want to take um, all the stuff for my collaboration. So because I'm going on this press trip and I'm going to this amazing location as a blogger, I then reach out to other companies I've worked with in the past. Just let them know that I'm going away um, and that it's going to be amazing content. So if they want to work with me again, then it's a great time to do so. So I've got quite a few bits that I need to make sure I take to shoot, which is another reason why I need my tripod. Um, and one more thing that I've just done myself, and I always recommend people to do, is to have a look at the hotels that you're staying in and the facilities that they have, because you can really stop yourself from having to take extra things like hair dryers, beach towels, if you have a look at things like that. So this electrical has literally saved my life when traveling and also just in general life. I hate ironing and this has stopped me from ever having to iron again. Um, it's a steamer, I think it was £17 off of Amazon and literally it's just so much easier and I don't have to worry about ironing. I have checked on the hotels and they do have iron and ironing board 
which kind of makes me think, should I not take this? But it's so small, it's, it heats up in like two minutes maximum, and it takes two seconds to um, steam your clothes, and you don't have to worry about creasing and stuff. So normally, if I was going on holiday, I'd kind of try and avoid things that are gonna crease. But usually the things that are gonna crease are the prettier things, like linens and sheer materials. So you can pack whatever you want, and you don't have to worry with this. So since I have got loads of blogging campaigns I wanna shoot there, the next step is to pick out some bits that I need to shoot. Um, or bits that are campaigns and um, collaborations that I'm doing whilst I'm out there and pack those. So here we have all of the outfits all laid out. I've bought all of the things that I need to shoot and then I've put with them the things that I would shoot them with so that I can make sure that I pack everything for that kind of outfit. So here I have my Sabo skirt play suit and I've paired it with this hat which is, says out of the office. It's just super cute. I've got this Laura Ashley um, kimono and also this um, swim costume which I think is going to be amazingly flattering. It's got the most beautiful cup detail and also I don't have much boobs, boobs so I feel like this is going to be super flattering. Then we have this bikini from Heidi Klein that I showed you before um, and also I have paired this with a white shirt because I think this will look really nice just with no um, buff bottoms or anything and then this bag. And then also this bikini with these shorts here. And what I'm going to try and do is also plan these into outfits that I'll wear in the day. So I don't have to specifically go and shoot the products. I can just kind of um, do it whilst I'm out and about. The only thing is that this one maybe the shirt um, I would need to wear denim shorts as well. But I'll just whip those off when I go to shoot. This bag is also super cute from Lulu's. And um, I've shot that already. I just am genuinely in love with it. So I'll probably go with every single one of these outfits and the whole holiday. Also have a couple of collaborations here that um, I need to do, but these are things that can go with any outfit really. Um, so I have this really cute watch from Henry London, um, and I work with them quite a lot, and I'm just a huge fan of their stuff. I actually used to wear their watches all the time anyway, um, and then they messaged me being like, oh, we saw you love our brand, so do you want to work with us? And I mean, honestly, that's like the best way a collaboration can come about. Um, and then also I have this Otterbox phone case. I'm working with them again when I go away. Love working with them. It's a product I truly believe in. They're amazing. They really protect your phone and they're also just really cute cases. Um, and then here I also have some jewellery from a brand. Um, I won't show you that. I should have hidden my address really. Um, so you can wait to see that. But it's really beautiful jewellery that has um, Cayman Island sand instead of a sewn. So um, it's like really special and reminds you of the special place. And whenever you wear it, you can be transported back. So really nice idea. So this madness is actually organised chaos. So what I've tried to do is I've tried to plan things as well that will go with multiple items and I'm just going to remove this bag because I'm going to do accessories in a minute. So basically this skirt will go with this top but then this top will also go with this denim skirt and also these shorts. If I change my mind then we also have this skirt which will also go with this top um, which is for evening and also it will go with that cami. Um, then we have these shorts which will go with that cami and then also go with this cami so everything's kind of organized chaos that will go with that or that or the denim skirt so these are the outfits let me show you what i've actually planned so this and this look lovely together for a lovely day outfit say if we're going for brunch which we are one day or something like that um where you want to dress up a bit more then this dress this bikini is gorgeous lovely pink and I have this dress here which is um, really low cut kind of, that could be day or evening. Um, and also I think it will look so nice with the pink just like underneath um, showing. Um, and then or also with the bikini. And then I've got an outfit here, this top that I love will go with this denim skirt. And then I've also got this top here from Shein Side that was £10, no I think it was 11 I lie, it was £11 and um, which also goes with this amazing skirt which I love then I have my Tula Rosa dress here um, which will look super cute for the daytime I can shove it on over a bikini or a swimming costume um, and I can also wear this um, in the evening if I wanted to for a more casual look um, and also in a day out maybe so there's so many different ways I can wear that then I have lots here, so this is my original outfit, my Tula Rosa swim costume, which by the way, it's also got a really cool back, did I show you the back, it's got a really cool back, and it's got like a line down the middle, and it's like 
mismatch patterns and then um these denim shorts which are so comfy i'm actually going to take them over my levi's i think um and that which is a very bold decision to make and then um this bikini swim costume which i love will look cool tucked into those um and then i also have this bikini swim costume which will look cool tucked in and this bikini which will look cool tucked in um so those will all look really great um and then also we have this shirt which will look cool with those i also feel like maybe i need another kind of light layer that i could wear with any of these as well so i'm gonna have a look for that and then here we have this play suit which will look really cute with this underneath and with that straw hat then here i have this outfit which is just a cami and some shorts and then i have this play suit which i love from sarbo so it's so nice it's like a really nice loose linen dress and um, play suit and it's very low v and then i have this play suit here which is super cute i haven't worn this yet it's got really nice sleeves and it's got um a crossover at the back and um, i'm gonna stand upside down so you aren't upside down then we have this dress here which i love from sabo skirt i don't know if it gets cool in the evenings actually i'm gonna go and have a look at that in a minute and then this cami i thought would look really cute with either this skirt which i've got for the daytime or i also thought with these shorts it would look really cute so i'm planning that in one of the outfits or just with a denim skirt or shorts um for day or evening and then i finally i have sorry i'm holding the camera really badly finally i have this play suit here which is from sabo skirt low back low front long sleeved kind of mesh detail very pretty so this is going to be my airport bag i think if I can't fit my laptop in it, then I'm going to take my other basket bag as my airport bag and this will be packed, but it takes up no space, so it's fine. And this is going to be my day bag too. It goes with every outfit. It's super cute. It's super easy. Also, it has a long strap, so if I don't have my hands to use, then I can use that. Um, and yeah, it's just, that will be my day bag. Then for my evening bag, I think I'm going to have this. So... Um, this is just a really cute little handheld one. It's got a detachable gold strap and it's quite neutral too. I think it will go with all of my outfits. The only thing is my portable battery won't fit in there, but I just have to make sure I'm all charged up. So I always divide my suitcase into two sections. So the first, I'll let me show you my suitcase. Um, and that's the back of it. This is a trip suitcase. It's actually new. I was kind of sent this from Debenhams. Um, but I really like the fact that it's got this. Um, so you can lock your keys into the um, lock. So that's really handy. And you don't have to worry about buying a padlock or anyone getting into it. It's super safe. So that's amazing. So the one thing I do first is put all of my socks and pants and stuff into a dust bag. And I know people probably think that's a waste of space because they say stuff your shoes and stuff with them. But to me, there's nothing worse than having to empty your entire suitcase every day to try and find a pair of pants. I mean, it also helps you um, because once you get there, you can empty them, put them somewhere, and then you can use this to put your dirty pants in. Um, and then I cut, put all of my shoes like this so that they don't get each other dirty here. Um, and just keep all my shoes and electronics and everything in one place so um, that they don't get mixed in with my clothes and it's just easier to find them that way. So next is the clothes packing portion and though everyone says about rolling and stuff, personally I find that just packing stuff as flat as possible is the best way to kind of get it all in and make use of all the space the only issue that i have is i've got this hat that i want to take and i don't want to take it in my hand luggage so i'm going to stuff that first with a few things probably just put in a couple of my play suits because i think they'll be the easiest thing to put in and there we have it my final packed case and i've still got room on top here and here so i can put my beauty bits here all my electricals and yeah i feel very happy about this Thanks so much for watching my packing video. I hope you liked it. I hope you found it helpful. Um, if you did, let me know. Um, I, I will be doing a holiday lookbook, so if you want to see me wearing the clothes that I just packed, then you will see them in the next video or the one after that. Well, probably in both, because I'm going to do a vlog too, so you'll see them, but like the other one will be like modelling them. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm quite out of breath now. That was hard work. I'm going to sit down with a cup of tea and a cookie. 
um but anyway i hope you liked it if you did make sure you subscribe for more i'll leave all the links to everything that i mentioned below and what i'll do as well which i always forget to do is put the sizing as well so that i can kind of recommend you on what size i am and what size i ordered and what size you should order so yeah i hope you liked this video i hope you found it helpful if you have any packing tips i'd love to know um and yeah i'll speak to you soon bye